Welcome to General Structures 2 and Lateral Forces, Lesson 4, Earthquake Design Example. <clears throat> I believe this is Part 4. And if you go to page 115, you'll see that they say that the connection of roof diaphragm to east and west shear walls. And that's where we're looking. And it says that the roof diaphragm is connected to the concrete walls with a wood ledger and anchor bolts as shown in the details on page 99. If you look on page 99, you will see something similar to such. Here's your concrete wall. Then you have your concrete anchor bolts. Here's your ledger. And then let's say it's has this joist hanger, and there's your roof joist, and then there is your plywood diaphragm, and it's got plenty of nails coming through here at two to or three inches, depending on what we're looking at. So your load is transferred from this roof diaphragm down to the nails to a ledger, and from the ledger to these anchor bolts that we're talking about right now, and, and from the anchor bolts to the concrete wall. And that's the load path, as I would call it. <clears throat> and they are asking, what should be the maximum spacing of three-fourths inch anchor bolts to transfer diaphragm shear into the walls. It says neglect any vertical loads to be transferred by the anchor bolts and assume any allowable load sorry, assume an allowable load of 1,000 oh, I thought I switched colors, let's go ahead and switch them 1,400 pounds per bolt and that's in the wood ledger in wood let's just say in wood so that's on this side let's go ahead and switch colors again hopefully that'll help clear up a little bit of the confusion or potential confusion in 2940 pounds per bolt in concrete wall So in that proportion, that's how much you're going to get resistance-wise. So in the end, you can take a look at it and say, well, I'm going to be able to resist more force using the concrete, uh, the pounds per con uh, bolt in the concrete wall. So I don't want to look at that. I want to look at this. This will control. Control. The bolt in the wood is going to control over the bolt in the concrete wall, which makes sense. Sure, why not? So if we go back to our, the problem right before this, or the video right before this, we would know that we had 677.5, and that's pounds per foot, so pounds per linear foot. Let's say, let's just say 678 PLF is being transferred from these nails to the ledger and needs to be transferred from the ledger through the anchor bolt into the concrete wall and therefore that's what we need to design for and that, that means that this anchor bolt right here needs to be designed for 678 pounds per linear foot but we can get 1400 pounds per bolt so how many bolts do we need to use well you could look at it as in the entire 60 foot or you can just do it in how often do I need a bolt so you can do it how often so let's go take a look and if you say just make sure you're, you're looking at your not your dimensions but your units if you have 1,400 pounds per bolt and you have 678 pounds per linear foot. So let's or we used to chemistry is to do this. But you can say six hundred and seventy eight pounds 
and then that's per linear foot, so you'll put it on top, one linear foot, and we can just say one foot. And I hope that makes sense. I just inverted it to where you're dividing. In other words, you could look at this right here as this. 1,400 pounds per bolt. And you could divide it by 678 pounds per foot. And if you divide it by, it's the same thing as multiplying by 1 over that. So in the end, we will get, you look at the units and you cross out pounds, you cross out pounds, and you will get foot per bolt. So how many foot, or we can change it to inches, inches per bolt. So we want to say one foot equals 12 inches. And I hope this doesn't confuse you. But uh, let's see what we get. And then you can maybe think of it a more logical way. 1400 divided by 678 times 12. And 24.78. 24.778. So 24.8 inches. And once again, that's going to cross out this because inch divided by I mean, foot divided by foot is nothing. So 24.8 inches. And that's going to be inches per bolt. And that's assuming what? We're saying, oh, 24 inches per bolt. So that's kind of your max spacing is 24 inches, 24.8 inches per bolt is your max spacing. So you need a bolt every 24.8 inch. You go into real life, you're not actually going to do 24.8 inches. You're going to say, oh, well, you know, let's round down, be a little bit conservative and just say 24 inches or every two foot. So you'll put up one of these anchor bolts every, or the three-fourths inch anchor bolt, every two foot or 24 inches, depending how you like to look at it, and that is your answer. And you have what, 60 foot? So once again, real life situation. You're not gonna put here. Let's say you have your 60 foot wall right here, and you're looking at your anchor bolts right here. Once again, they have a parapet, so your actual ceiling or your roof is, you know, about three-fourths of the way up, give or take. So you're going to do it every two foot. You have 60 foot. You could even say, well, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do... What you need to do in real life is to look at what is your edge distance. And you can talk to manufacturers, and they'll have charts and whatnot. I'll tell you such things. But let's assume that that edge distance, let's say, well, we have 60 foot. So that's going to be 30. What, 29? 29 times 2 is 58. So you're going to have 58 foot. That means you're going to have a foot on each side. And that's where it always comes a little difficult. In real life, I would say, okay, leave one foot 12 inches over here. Leave 12 inches over here. And then you're going to have how many in the middle? What did I say, 29? Yeah, 29. Wait. Actually, when you think about it, that's going to be 30 bolts, and that's going to be 29 spaces at 2 foot, or 24 inches, let's say, equals 58 foot, 0 inches. So you'll end up using 30 bolts per side, and I forget what their question it said, what should be the maximum spacing? So it didn't even ask for how many bolts. I just did that and went ahead and put it on there. But you need to figure out, I mean, obviously you're not going to put a bolt right here. It wouldn't be 31 bolts because you can't put a bolt right on the edge and right on the edge and then have 30 equal spaces at two foot. You'd have to figure out what is that per manufacturer recommendations, what is that edge distance that you can put safely put one of these these anchors in without jacking with your concrete. So that's a, a good way to look at it. Once again, 
not a, not perfect, but more of a real life example. Oh, I'll use 30 points bolts per side, and you know exactly how many bolts you're going to need, and you can specify and put in your quantities how many bolts there are. That's getting down to the nuts and bolts, no pun intended, as it is. And once again, your answer, since it asked for what should be the maximum spacing, officially the maximum spacing is 24.8. Realistically, the max spacing I would use in design is 24 inches. I hope that helps, and I will see you on the next video.